Is there such a thing as a perfect swing? Maybe. Few hitters come to mind. Swings are different shapes and sizes, tempos, rhythms, and feels. One thing they all had in common was the ability to stay inside the baseball, the ability to get to their power position. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, well this one's worth about $340 million. That's around how much Pujols made in his career, and a lot of it had to do with this aspect of his swing. His ability to get to the power position. Let's talk some hitting. Pujols' ability to stay inside the baseball was one of the main reasons he was such a dominant hitter. This is why the V-Swings batting training was created, to help hitters find their power position, so they can sharpen their ability to drive the ball with 100% complete authority. The V-Swings bat was the first angled barreled bat that forced a hitter to stay inside the baseball through the zone at point of contact to avoid the weak rollover ground ball. Here's one reason why hitters tend to throw away at bats. They're pulling pitches they have no business pulling. So they get the weak rollover ground ball pull side because they're hitting the wrong side of the baseball. It's frustrating. The solution is understanding where the point of contact needs to be. My mentor Steve Springer used to call it getting to the green, AKA staying inside the ball, getting your hands to the power position. That a lot of times you're hitting hard ground balls, boom, you're trying to pull a pitch that shouldn't be pulled. And so always get to the inside part of the ball. Now it's about contact point. That's what we're looking for right there. That's core. We get out over here on the outside part of the ball. Don't let me push it back. See how it just transfers to your hands like? I'm talking about attacking the inside part of the baseball, right? There's a huge difference between staying inside the ball and attacking the inside part of the baseball. Don't let me push the bat back. See, there's where the power is right there. We get on the outside part of the ball. Get in your stance. We're, we're over here now. Don't let me push the bat back. See how it just transfers to your hands because we're out here. I really started to really attack the inside part of the baseball. My home runs went up. So attack the inside part of the baseball on the speed you're looking for and the ground balls will stop. So how do we get to the green? How do we attack the inner half of the ball more consistently and get as much backspin on the pitch and drive the ball to the big part of the field? Well, we can start by asking, what does a good swing look like? Here's a problem I see with a lot of young hitters. They're swinging just to make contact. They're swinging to just put the ball in play, just to execute a perfectly mechanical swing, instead of swinging to really drive the ball hard somewhere with controlled aggression. Many young hitters swing to not strike out instead of swinging to do serious damage on the next pitch. Big difference. A lot of times when a hitter is struggling in the batter's box, is in a bit of a funk at the plate, and their swing mechanics feels off and their hands feel slow, if they just adjusted their mindset and approach, it would fix most of their mechanical issues. Sometimes a hitter just needs to say, I don't care what happens, I don't care what I hit, I'm just gonna try to make hard contact. And all of a sudden, their timing is back, their back control has better feels, and their hand-eye coordination improves. So much of hitting is less about mechanics and more about the mindset, the approach, and your ability to believe you can beat the pitcher. This is why I've argued that for many hitters, mechanics are overrated. This is also why the V-Swing bat design is shaped the way that it is to get you back to the basics. In my opinion, the perfect example of what I'm talking about is with Derek Jeter's approach at the plate. Captain Clutch, Mr. November, he was able to suck his hands in and stay inside the ball as good as anyone. There was a ball middle in, in the old Tiger Stadium, and you shoot the ball down the right field line. Here's in Kansas City in 2012, same thing. Ball's coming in inside uh, again. It just- It was predetermined that I was gonna stay inside the ball. Now for me, I wasn't good enough to guess pitches. If hitting is about timing, and it is, and if pitching is about upsetting that timing, and it is, then our job as hitters is to be on time on every single pitch. And we can do that by understanding our position at the point of contact, getting to the power position. The V-Swings Bat Trainer helps you to achieve reputable, efficient, powerful swings by getting to the inner half of the ball. Easier said than done, sure. But not one ball player came out of the womb with a big league swing. It's about putting in the reps, developing a love for the sport. It's about being and staying a student of the game.